So what's going on people, welcome to another video on the channel and another video for Apex Legends. Now in today's Apex Legends video, it's been a long time, but we do have an update for the game. Now this update isn't available just yet, it is going to arrive on Tuesday. And when I mean Tuesday, I mean 4th of June. Now, this update is coming before the E3 EA Play type of announcement that they're going to be doing, but this is a special event, a new event, which is going to be called the Legendary Hunt. Now, I'm going to guess this is going to be the final event before Season 2 begins, so it's going to go from the 4th of June all the way until the 18th of June. So this is going to be a completely new event. It's going to add in some more stuff as well. So what does this new event, this special event actually contain? Well, for stars, it does contain some challenge rewards. We're actually going to get some challenges into Apex Legends and these rewards will give us rare, epic and legendary skins. Now it doesn't specify what type of skins it's going to be, it doesn't say if it's going to be legend skins or it's going to be weapon skins. My guessing is going to be a variety of both, so don't worry, you're going to be able to get your Pathfinder and Caustic and Octane skins as well as your Mozambique skins as well. Now as well as the challenges, you can buy some more Legendary Hunt store skins from the Apex Legends store, which is going to be updating every single three to four days with new skins. So that means you can directly purchase it. It doesn't matter if you have to do any challenges or anything like that. You can just spend normal money and just get the skins yourself. And also towards more type of skins, they're actually going to get some free skins. Now these free skins are going to be included as two legendary new skins for anybody who has the battle pass already. Now the first one is for anybody who has the Wild Frontier battle pass which will automatically get the legendary Honored Prey R301 skin which I will put some pictures on the screen if I can get some standalone pictures. And the second one is for people who reach level 15 in the battle pass before the event ends which is going to be the Wraith Knight Terror legendary skin. Now with the addition to all of these rewards and challenges and all of that, they're actually adding something completely new, which is essentially their competitive mode, which is Apex Elite Q. Now the way you get into this Apex Elite Q is so that means you can finish a top 5 in any type of game, and then it unlocks this separate playlist that means you can play with other people who have finished top 5. That means it's more competitive, it's a lot more balanced I would say. And then the only way to keep on playing in this playlist is to keep on finishing in the top five. Now, you could hide out and stay in the separate corner of the entire map and just keep on getting top five. We don't know if there's going to be a specifically a different reward points towards it because it's more of an elite type of gameplay instead of the casual type of gameplay. So we're going to have to see if it does have an alternate type of XP boosts or anything like that. So that means it makes you play the game a little bit more. But that's just how it works. You have to finish top five in any match, unlocks a playlist, and then you have to keep on placing top five. And as well, you do get a badge for an elite streak, which actually labels how many times you finished in the top five all in a row. Now with the addition to this Apex Elite queue, there's actually going to be the Battle Pass bonus XP, which has happened previously where if you finish in the top five in any match, you get an entire Battle Pass level completely free. And this you can do it every single day, but only once a day. And then also we will be getting the double XP weekend from June 7th, so that is going to be the E3 weekend. So, you know, it, it forces you to play the game whilst the EA Play event happens. Now, with the addition to this, we're actually going to be getting some more stuff and first details about the Season 2 Battle Pass itself and what we could get from the Season 2 Battle Pass and what type of additions we can actually get and improvements. Now, some of the additions and improvements are very good. So, the first one is Level Up via daily and weekly challenges. Now, this is something that has been asked before about will they add in challenges to the game, so that means it forces you to play the game, forces you to play different characters and anything like that, which thankfully they are. So hopefully it is some character or legend specific challenges. You know, like how Rocket League has it where you have to use a topper or whatever it is, something like that, or a different antennae just to you know, get kills or stuff like that. That means you, you might have to get like five kills with five different legends or anything like that and it allows you to get some more XP or maybe just gives you a free level. Now, one thing to keep in mind about these weekly challenges is that if you do miss a couple weeks or you're 
uh, maybe like a weeks, like a few weeks late, these challenges will still stay as the thing. So like how the bonus XP per legend actually works, where you don't actually have to have it as a reset, it just keeps on piling up. These weekly challenges will be an automatic pile up as well. So really, it's a nice little addition that they're actually having. There's no proper rush towards it. You can wait and do it all on the final week, or you can do it once per week. So that means, you know, it's not a proper grind, but it does allow you to take your time. So this is only going to happen for the weekly challenges. The daily ones will be daily things. Weekly ones will keep on turning around every single week. Now some more improvements to the Season 2 Battle Pass is the time to level 100 in the Battle Pass will be significantly reduced, thank god for that, mainly because it, it takes forever, I think right now I'm only at level 40 and I play it most days but if you are just a casual player, you only play like 2 games a night or like 2 games a week, then you're never going to get anywhere with the battle pass. Maybe you can maybe hit level 15. So if you are like me or like anybody else who doesn't have the time to actually play it, this should be significantly reduced. That means maybe you'll be able to hit level 50, level 70, maybe 100, quite easy. Now another thing and more additions to the game is going to be more legendary skins for the reward tracker. Now the reward tracker as of right now we do only have I think it's two legendary skins. We have one I think in the middle and one at the end. Now as of right now we're going to be getting a legendary item every 25 battle pass levels. So that means we're going to be getting it from level 1, level 25, level 50, level 75 and level 100. Now one thing they're going to make sure about these legendary items is that the level 100 is always going to be an evolving weapon. Like how the previous one was where the more kills you get, the more the gun changes. The other ones are going to be cosmetics and exclusive character or legend items. I know the last two things that we're going to be going over is the no more badge and stat trackers rewards for the premium path so if you do buy the premium or the actual battle pass itself if you do buy it then you won't be getting any more stat or badge trackers thank god because it did take up a lot of space for that type of stuff now there's going to be a new cosmetic type instead of having these type of things now this new cosmetic type it hasn't been mentioned so we're going to see some more when season two gets properly announced and properly shown off at ea play now the last thing is that you will be able to earn more crafting metals and materials with the season pass as well so this is going to be replacing the voice lines and we're now going to be getting some more crafting metals as rewards now how much crafting metal that we're going to be earning through the battle pass itself is going to be 1200 now that is quite a bit if you do think about it that is three epic skins so you'll be able to get five legendary items and then you'll be able to get three epic skins from just crafting metals itself so that's amazing to have and amazing improvements to the season pass itself and you know for season two it's gonna be great to see what else can be added to the game what else we're gonna see probably the new legend will come we'll see all of this the ea play itself but that's all i've got time for for this one so hope you guys enjoy remember to like subscribe and comment down below for what things you're excited for for season two for apex legends battle pass now um i will see you guys in the next video and peace out